Hi friends, welcome back. So first of all, I want to wish each and every one of you Merry Christmas. And today it is 24th and Rai is totally excited. Like she just want to open all of her gifts. She has opened one or two of her gifts. So I was going to have the party on 25th for lunch. But now we have changed like as it is going to snow on Christmas. So like but we all are excited because like Christmas should be always it should always be white Christmas like Bahar snow ho to bohat hi achha lagta hai. So it is going to snow in the day of Christmas or aaj raat se hi like it will start snowing. So for that little bit problem happens so many of our friends they are not coming and many of them told that they will come today and they are like don't worry just we just want to have fun just prepare what you have so for that but my menu is the same i have changed little bit and some of our near friends who are there our neighbor they will be coming on 25th so for that but luckily i had chopped and i had done all the meal planning for the party so in that way i am little bit relaxed only i thought i'll make something for dessert but now like there's no time so we decided that we will buy cake anyhow it is christmas so we decided that kids they love having cake so we'll buy cake so now i have to go and i have to start preparing and i think so on when yeah on 23rd we went to new york city and it was beautiful it was really amazing bahut maza aaya so on um, this week totally rice vacation is going on so we are planning to go somewhere i don't know my hubby also to cliff for two days so let's see if the weather is good because abhi problem hota hai ki because of the snow we can't go to many places because it's not at all safe to drive in snow like thoda rixi ho jata hai for that we were like oh god abhi like why did it snow because i arranged so many things but anyhow that is fine so let me go down and start preparing and before leaving again i want to wish you all merry christmas have fun bye bye so almost everything i had prepared before so that was a great help and i'm constantly talking with my hubby now so i'll just chop some onions and for evening in starter you know i am planning to make today just simple pakora and i have already like cubed the paneers so first i will be preparing the goat and this is around we purchased around 5 lb of goat so when the oil was hot i added little bit of sugar because this brings a nice red color to the curry so here i have added around 3 onions and i'll cover it with a lid so when my onion is cooked nicely and i have marinated the goat with ginger garlic paste and some uh, and little bit of green chili so now i'll mix the goat nicely and i have added little bit of salt while marinating so now i am adding little bit more salt and now i have added little bit of turmeric and some red chili powder and mix it nicely so today i am planning of making achari ghost but this is not a lamb this is the baby goat and i'll cover it with a lid so now after 5 10 minutes i will be adding yogurt and this is around 1 cup of yogurt which i have added and i will mix it very nicely and keep the gas in medium so after that i have added little bit of cashew and almond paste this is very less around i think so 6 cashews and 3 almonds and now i let it cook so i i won't be giving it in the pressure i'll be cooking it here so for that i will be adding one supari now this is the whole supari and this is a trick that if you add supari your mutton will be cooked very fast 
so now let it cook so i'll keep it aside and i will start preparing for some other dishes so i'll keep it in medium flame and let it cook for 20 minutes and in the meanwhile i went up to see what rai is doing and she has opened one of her gift and she is totally enjoying it rai she loves doing oregano and she has already started making it and my hubby is helping me a lot so he's cleaning all the houses like all the rooms and i'm down so now i will first i will fry the paneer and in the meanwhile my mutton is also being cooked so in order to keep your paneer like stay very soft and this also one of my subscriber suggested me that after frying your paneer keep the fried paneer in hot water and really it stays so soft so i'm keeping it all my paneers in the hot water and now my mutton is almost 60% done so in this stage i am adding the achar masala so i am adding around 2 big tablespoon of achar masala and some red chilies and i'll mix them nicely and again i'll let it cook for another 20 minutes like un unless your mutton is nicely cooked because really it takes time and sorry i'm constantly saying mutton but this is actually good and you can see that already the color has changed and it the color is looking so nice instead of black it has become red color and i think so i have shown how to make like achari chicken in one of my vlogs i can't remember in which one so this is the swad achar masala which i have purchased and i think so my mutton is ready and see this is how it is looking i have garnished with some cilantro and again some green chilies So now I will start preparing the paneer. So in the oil I have added some whole garam masala. And once when my whole garam masala starts crackling at that time I am adding around half 1 tablespoon of ginger and 1 tablespoon of garlic paste. and i'll make everything nicely so when once when my ginger garlic paste is nicely cooked at that time i am adding some onion this is only one onion which i have added so i'll mix the onion nicely and this i'm making like a paneer butter what to say yeah paneer butter i was going to say paneer butter chicken sorry it is paneer butter masala so now i have added the tomatoes and these tomatoes i had already boiled which i i have shared with you in the meal planning which i had done for the party so here is um, i have around four tomatoes and so when the tomatoes were nicely cooked and you can see that it has changed into a nice color so at that time i am adding green chili i'm adding sorry red chili powder and some turmeric powder and now here i have added some cashew paste and this is again i made a paste out of i think so 10 cashews so once when everything is nicely cooked at the time i will add little bit of water and now i will blend it i will blend this mixture totally or if you want you can strain it with the help of a strainer so finally everything is i it has turned into a smooth gravy 
so now i have added around 1 tablespoon of butter i am not at all adding too much butter and i have added little bit of red chili powder nahi to like bahut blend ho raha tha like it didn't become too much of spicy and now i am adding the paneer and because i kept the paneer in hot water just trust me the paneer sweat so soft like sabhi guests bol rahe the ki paneer bahut hi acha hua tha this was the best recipe i can say that happened yesterday the paneer was so soft so after that i have added little bit of garam masala and i'm sorry i think so it didn't come in this so then i have added green chilies because i don't make it so much spicy so if someone want to eat they can just break the green chilies and i am adding around 1 tablespoon of honey and last i am adding kasuri methi and i will mix it nicely and then at the last this is almost done i will add some cream yeah today definitely i i am not thinking that much of calories and all so i have added cream but i didn't add that much of cream and actually i have fried more paneer but then i decided with some of the paneers i'll be making paneer pakora and keep it like this for 5 minutes and my paneer butter butter masala is ready sorry and now the last recipe i am making shrimp so first i will fry the shrimp and we get very nice shrimp here so many of always saying to make this shrimp so i thought okay i'll make this shrimp now when my oil was hot here i have made a paste of one onion so this is fully one onion paste and when you make like when you are giving onion paste you have to fry it very nicely nahi to onion ka wo kachcha gand karta hai so it's very essential ki bahut achhi tarah se aap pakaye so you should you have to cook it very nicely and now all my onion like paste is totally cooked because oil came out and it changed into a brown color so in that stage i added some red chili powder and turmeric powder and i added little bit of coriander powder so i'll mix it nicely and now i'm adding little bit of water so that it turns into a nice gravy and this i am making with not that much oil very less oil and definitely salt to taste and i'll cover it for around 5 minutes so now this gravy is looking very nice so in this in this stage i will add all my shrimp and many of the kids they don't eat, eat shrimp so this is just i'm making for the grown up and like i also don't eat shrimp and i'll add little bit of water and almost my shrimp curry is ready i am adding some again my favorite red chili sorry green chilies and some cilantro and my shrimp is totally cooked so already i have turned on the heat so at that stage i am adding some coconut milk and i'll take it out immediately and this is how my shrimp curry turned out to be so almost my most of the cooking is done so now i have to take out all of my dishes and then i have to clean up all the kitchen but yeah today my hubby he helped me a lot and 
I'm just looking at the bag that are these all dishes like safe in oven because that is very essential to look that whether they are safe in microwave and oven or not so most everything is safe in oven so in order to keep all of these dishes warm what I have done that I have turned on the oven light like if you turn on the oven light like it will be very mild warm or whatever I have cooked everything will be like it will everything will stay warm so this is a nice idea to do so that's what I have done as it is very cold here so if you cook something it becomes cold very fast and now for my evening in starter I thought a lot and then I have decided that no today as it is cold I'll make just simple Indian plain bhaji so I am making brinjal bhaji, cauliflower bhaji and some paneer pakoda like everything is like a pakoda type bhaji type. And winter time most of them like loves to love to eat pakoda. and I will make the mixture also so in basin I added little bit of rice flour usse bohati like acha banta hai and then I added some red chili powder turmeric powder and I'll mix them nicely and now I'm adding oil to it like if you add hot oil in this mixture then when you do the pakoras it become very crisp bohat acha lagta hai khane mein and some water and I'll make a smooth paste and whenever you make pakora always like make the paste like always you have to make a very smooth paste in order to get fluffy pakoras so most of my work is done only I'll make everything like this all when my guests arrive not now so I've just prepared the base of it and now I will clean little bit of my living room especially my dining table today my hubby he helped me a lot he cleaned all the like all the floors and everything is neat as I was busy in the kitchen and Rai is also ready <laughs> And here she is opening one of her one again one of her gift like today her main funda is opening her gift and Rai and her dad they both went and they brought this cake as for dessert today I didn't make anything I thought it's Christmas so cake is the best option so they purchased this cake and I am making very simple Peace Pulao, this is one of the most easy thing and I, I have some naan so I will be giving that and my Peace Pulao is ready so now I will go down and get ready and I have cleaned my kitchen totally took a shower got ready and my final is taking out again all my plates and tomorrow again we have another small party tomorrow's party is very small so tomorrow again I'm planning to make something else and some of the mutton curry I have already like separated it which I can use for tomorrow's party the preparation only takes most of the time and please what you all have done in your Christmas day just write down on the comment section Sometimes I know I can't reply but believe me I read each and every of your comment and I feel so much interested when I read all of the comments so please write down what 
did you all do in this christmas and it is almost time for my grace to come and rai is making the video so i told her that please go far away and i'm making the bhajis and it seems it's going to snow from like from today 10 so that was a problem but in winter this all things are common so i'll just show you all how my table how my table is looking so that's it for today everyone i hope you all have enjoyed this video if so please hit the like button please comment down below and those of you who are watching me for the first time please do subscribe bye everyone